Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is a not mint box, a little different. Be nice to see my wonderful mug. Anyway, so, you know, usually I do the Mass Universe review toys I do with Chris Vick, but since there's never been a Vicor before, we wouldn't have much of a video to talk about. And, well, I'm gonna hog the limelight today, because this is a figure I've been waiting for for. Ever. This is what I wanted He-Man to always be. Okay, well, not the white box, so you know what? Here's open up this white box. So, first, uh, you notice uh, right away we have a Powers of Grey Skull sticker. And, um, well, truthfully, I seriously doubt that Vico was ever supposed to be Hours of Grey Skull. But that's cute, they put him in there because he's pre. pre modern day Randor time frame. He's actually referred to as He Man of the North. Because, you know, north of. wherever. Alright, so. You see in the package, he's got cool ass battle axe and this. See, in the prototype of the uh, Vicar toy at the or San Diego Comic Con, he had a pointier shield, but they said they couldn't do that for safety regulations, even though this is an adult collector's market. Whatever, logistics. So, you can see on the back, uh, all the pre Turnian uh, He Man figures. You got the hero there, you got the goddess. I don't know what that Zodex there, but Zodex there, it's cool. Wonder Bread He Man, and uh, Grey Skull. Myself, and there's his prototype image that that was the original drawing that they did when they were creating He Man, where they had the idea, and a little bit of his bio. What am I doing talking? It's just get this figure out of the package. Okay, uh, see, some of the things I do hate that they do with this packaging, it's a little annoying. You see he's got this cool cape, right? But you see the plastic head? And the plastic comes all the way up here, so how am I supposed to get him out of the package? Not too worse for wear. Let's uh, check him out. Okay, um... A lot of people done reviews. Have you seen Pickles Dan? Pixel? Dan. Pixel Dan. Pickles. Pickle Dan's review, or Dapper Dan, or Diaper Dan, Dipper Dan. Uh, you know, you know, He-Man from the North. This guy's got pretty decent movement, but the dude's rocking a helmet, so he doesn't have to work behind his shoulder, going like, oh, who's gonna hit me? He's rocking a helmet like every good leader guy has. Uh, up and down movement, not so much. I love, and I'm really loving this cape. It feels like it's, well, it's plastic. Rubber, but it looks like uh like like he he gutted an animal and put it on. See that material? And if he lift it up, it's very stiff. He's got a little holster here for his sword, which you'll notice is not the sword of he. But it does run the scheme of uh, things with his battle axe. It's kind of rusted. Looks like it's been used. A dude like this with holes in his loincloth. cloth. As you can see right here, he's got lots of little holes because he's a tough guy. And uh, he's got broken chains. And it's kind of cool because it's like toy chain, but it looks real. There's no way that's real. And uh, just looks pretty cool. You do notice the new joints. You can they're hiding the uh, foot joint. Very stiff. So uh, it's kind of, it moves, but it's very stiff. Something about this character, just, I kind of wish I had him from the beginning. He, you know, this is just really weird that uh, this hand is very tightly closed. You'd have to kind of, you know, it doesn't really want to hold the weapons. It's 
like... I don't know if everybody's like that or is it just mine, but I really can't seem to get any weapon safe. Yeah, it's not happening. So, my Vicar, just like I am, is left-handed. So, I have no problem with that. And, uh, his shield is not that bad. I mean, the way they designed it on the upper... Sorry. On the upper part here, what you can do is you clamp it over, over here. And it looks like it covers the whole uh, arm like that, so you can hold it close. It's a bludgeoning weapon, so you can bludgeon people in 300. And uh, that's about it. I do have to say that, I mean, even the horns, man. Look at the horns, it's like just the detail on the horns, you can see it. it's kind of worn down. It's just something about that. And the sculpt overall is just Conan the Barbarian he man This is I'm digging this. And uh <laughs> I can't pick that up. Overall sculpt, I think he looks cool. Even if he didn't have a shirt, I mean this is pretty cool. And if you wanted to, they have the weapons packs, you can throw any kind of attachments because they're all interchangeable. I do I think I like the battle axe better than the sword, only because something about barbarians swinging a battle axe it makes it look really cool. Makes me think of fire and ice. Uh, can the battle axe fit in the back? I'm okay, yeah, I got the battle axe back there. So if you wanna hold the sword, you got the sword, and he's got the whole like that. Very regal. So you can do the whole thing, and uh, there you go. Remember, guys, they're your toys. Play with them the way you want.